Hello everybody, this is Cody from GG Servers, and today I'm going to show you how to quickly install any resource packs or behavior packs on your Bedrock server. A resource or behavior pack refers to a type of add-on that can modify the behavior of entities, items, and other aspects of the game. It allows players to customize and enhance their Minecraft experience by adding new functionality or changing existing features. Please note that you cannot add resource or behavior packs to your server directly. You need to load them first in a single player world and then upload them back to your server. So to do this, first you're going to open your game and just leave it running. And then you're going to locate any resource or behavior packs and then double click them. On the side here I have Tree Capitator. So I'm going to go ahead and double click Tree Capitator right there. And now it should say importing on my game. So it says import started. And then it should say import successful. There we go, awesome. So now let's go to our world, so click play, click edit on our world or create a new one. And then go down to add-ons and click behavior packs. Go ahead and click your pack that you just added and then click activate. Click continue. And now your world should have your behavior pack added. So let's go ahead and join it. For this pack, you just need to press the shift key to activate the tree capitator feature. And now you can see it's already working, so awesome. Now we can upload this world along with the behavior pack to the server. So go ahead and stop the server, go to files, then go to FTP file access, and then do Windows key and R. The box will pop up for you to search files on your PC. In this case, we're going to find where the world is located. We'll have this in the description below, so paste that in there, and this should open up this file location in your file explorer. And now each folder will represent your bedrock world. So go into the folder for the world that you just were in. The names of the folders can be confusing, so just go into one of them, go to level name, open that file up, and that should be the name of your world. Now open FileZilla and connect your server to it. If you don't have FileZilla or even know how to use it, we have some videos on how to do that too, so check the description below if you want to know how to do that. Once you are connected, go into the worlds folder. Now go to that tab that you minimized before, and then drag and drop that world folder into FileZilla to upload it to your server. Now just wait for the upload to complete, and if any of the transfer fail, like in this case, select the tab Failed Transfers on FileZilla, right click on it and select Reset and re All. Then press the button to transfer again as shown in the video. Again, this name is very confusing, so we suggest renaming it. So right click, rename, and then just give it the name that you had on your computer or give it a new name that is less confusing. Now you can close FileZilla, back to your server control panel, go down to world, and then select the world that you just uploaded. Go ahead and click save, and then now you can start the server. While it starts, press the bedrock add button, click add, and this will automatically add your server to your list on your launcher. You can now join the server to check and see if it's working. So hold shift, now you see tree capitator enabled, so now let's go ahead and break a tree to capitate it, and boom, the whole tree breaks, awesome, so now you know it works. Pretty cool. If you want to remove this pack for some reason, go to your FTP, go to the worlds folder, go into your world, go into the behavior packs folder, and just go ahead and delete that folder right there. That will delete the behavior pack from your world. Don't forget to restart the server. And now when you're back, you can see that it doesn't work anymore. Back to normal. If you want to remove it from your single player world, go back to the edit button on your world, go down to behavior packs again, go to active this time, click the behavior pack that you want to remove, and then click deactivate, click OK, and now it should be gone from your world. In the beginning, we import this behavior pack, so if you want to completely remove it from your game, go to settings, go down to storage, and then go to behavior packs, click the behavior pack, and then click the delete button. There we go, so now it should be gone, and if you want to add it back in the future, just import it again. Now you should know how to install any resource or behavior pack on your Bedrock server. If you find this video helpful, please consider giving a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.